Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, always wanted to say that in a video. Today we are going to try, if you haven't read the title or seen the thumbnail, hopefully it looks good-ish, we are going to try the art that Andrew made for Shane Dawson's little mini documentary series, or oh, this one isn't really a mini though is it? I'm pretty sure it's going to be an eight part, so that's a flipping thrill ride, I can't wait to see the last few episodes. Let me know if you're watching along below, let me know what you think so far. I think by the time this goes up, six would have just been released. And if you have no idea what I'm on about, hi, congratulations, you've just woken up out of your coma. Welcome back to the world, just catch up. I'll leave the link to the series below, even though there's going to be like five people watching this video, but still, you five people need to watch this series just it's just it's so interesting. So Andrew who films and makes these documentaries with Shane Dawson and who also has the cutest and best laugh in the universe. I think we can all agree on that. He also made these pieces of art to advertise these series and they're pretty cool looking. Uh, this one of Shane is the one I'm going to be working off for my reference today but he also made this one of Jake Paul and it's still pretty sick but I am going to focus on the Shane Dawson one today. If you're still here watching then thank you, um, here's how I did the makeup I guess. I'll let voiceover me take over so bye from me um hello from voiceover sophie start with i just did some basic makeup and then grabbed a small sized zip i then played around with sizing until i found the correct placement for it and i then just drew in some dots just so i knew whereabouts to start this makeup so focusing on the reference photo of Shane, the edit looked like it was like burnt paper, like wispy bits of that. So I just went a bit wild and drew what I thought resembled or slightly looked like burnt edges of paper. And then added in the zip lines. <laughs> zip lines? Oh yeah, I don't, I, I'll keep that in. <laughs> For the colour of the inside part, it was a bit tricky for me as they did look quite grayscale on the edits. So I added a slight bit of purple into some grey face paint that I had. And I don't know if it was a bit too fleshy looking, so I think I went over again with white before I started the shading as you can see here. And for the shading I used black eyeshadow and pretty much went round the whole underneath area first, just a bit lightly with shading. And then I went over it again with some hardcore shading and you'll see here in a minute I do go a bit overboard so I do correct my errors once again with some whitish face paint. But I guess that's the fun part here as you can just play around with the makeup until you feel happy with the outcome. So here I'm adding some highlight with some white face paint and I'm just going around the outside edging of it just to show where the light would hit. I also off camera forgot to film this part but I did fill in my eyebrow that's in the grey part a lot darker than my normal eyebrow just so it came up a bit more black than brown. So I went and did some glam makeup on the other part of my face. And then for the grayscale part, I just added some dark mascara and then drew on my waterline. And I hate doing this, as you will see in a moment. It's the worst part of makeup. I don't know why we put ourselves through it. <laughs> and now for the fun part, the zip. So I was just making sure it was still measuring correctly on my face. And then I applied some latex to the zip first and then to my face with some cotton buds. I believe you can use spirit gum for this as well, but I'll be honest, I've never worked with spirit gum, so don't I don't speak from experience, but I've heard you can apply facial props or whatever you want to call them to your face with spirit gum as well. 
that's pretty much it for this one guys you can add more if you want to i was just working off the reference so i kept it simple and easy and it just really didn't take long to do so i'm quite happy with how this turned out considering it's my first kind of realistic go at some face paint but it just looked so flipping cool and I was really happy with how that turned out. Leave a comment if you've tried this or link me a photo that you've done this or even a video if you make videos so that would be cool to see other people's interpretations of it. I have no friends. Aww. So I have no one to talk to about this series so comment below if you want to be my friend and discuss it with me because that would be cool. <laughs> Do I sound really pathetic right now? <laughs> no. For the three of you who watched and liked, thank you. Let me know if you're watching it so we can talk about it because that would be cool of you. And if you want to, subscribe, but you don't have to because that's your decision, isn't it? And yeah, but it is free to do and it takes seconds. So, you know, just do it if you want to, if you want to feel charitable and yeah I will see you in the next video I don't know what the next video is gonna be yet but it will be Halloweeny so we're gonna get back to the spooky spooky not the psychological fan art spooky it's not really fan art because and I guess Andrew could be a fan of his own work anyway until then the next video that is Stay spooky. I've got two faces. Blurry's the one I'm not. I've got two faces. Blurry's the one I'm not. I need your help to take him out. I need your help to take him out. Though I'm weak. And beaten down, I'll slip away into the sound.